landed with, let us just say, a thud on Good Friday. Wall Street took the day off due to Easter, but the response today has been telling. I'm Elise Glink, and here's today's Glinkonomics report for the Real Estate Minute. The Bureau of Labor Statistics announced Friday that the U.S. economy added just 126,000 non-farm jobs in March, and that was well short of analysts' expectations. The earlier estimates for January and February were revised downward by some 69,000 jobs. The unemployment rate held steady at 5.5 percent, and that's largely due to the labor force participation rate, and that continues to hover at only 62.7 percent. The U6, which is the broadest measure of unemployment that includes part-time workers and those who have, like, thrown up their hands and said, I'm not working anymore, that remains at 11 percent. And a lot of economists feel that the U6 is the true measure of unemployment in this country. So let's just say it again. The U6 is at 11 percent. This is the kind of news that keeps me concerned about the health of our own economic recovery, as I explained in my last Glinkonomics report. And while there are reasons to suspect that the cold winter did affect those hiring numbers, the economic situation abroad is continuing to push the value of the dollar higher, and that's becoming a major concern for U.S. exporters as the price of their goods rise well beyond the means of those buying them. Meanwhile, the low price of oil has had a significant impact on the parts of the mining sector that support the oil and gas extraction industry. That industry has already lost over 30,000 jobs in 2015. What about wages? Well, they crept up a meager seven cents for an overall increase of 2.1 percent so far this year. Part of that, and no small part, is due to the state minimum wage increases. Then, this past week, McDonald's jumped on the bandwagon, stating it would increase wages at company-owned stores, which is not all the McDonald's in the world or even in the U.S. Increasing wages at other locations would be up to the franchise owners. So it's not the vast majority of McDonald's, but boy, did it sound great. So I'll be talking with Darren Bloomquist from Realty Track on my Big Money Real Estate program, which airs on Wit Nation, and we air some of those episodes on YouTube. And we'll be talking later this week about how home prices are rising at a faster clip than wages and what happens in the end game when you've got prices, home prices rising faster than people's ability to afford them. With big institutional investors driving up the prices of homes in many markets, traditional home buyers who are limited by incomes are being left behind. And according to Darren, the housing recovery isn't going to maintain momentum without that segment of the market getting involved. It's all bringing home the point that our economy needs more full-time, well-paying jobs before we can expect to leave the legacy of the Great Recession behind us for good. I don't know when that's going to happen, and I don't think there's any way to know exactly how we're going to manage that. Thanks for watching today's Glinkonomics report. For more details and links, visit my website. And until next time, I'm Elise Glink.